Alright, so I'm working on this snowmobile thing now. It's all custom. Um, I took apart two other projects to make this one. I took apart the uh, two-wheel drive tracked motorcycle I made, the yellow one. And because that was giving me a lot of problems, so I just I quit it. And then this one, the whole front end here, I got from that wheelie horse tractor I built a couple of years ago. Um, and the wheels for the chopper there, got them from the front of it too. So I'm probably going to use that V-twin for a different project, but. I gotta get more parts for that anyway, so saving up parts for that. Um, so I'm gonna use this front end. I modified it a little bit. I added a leaf because there was this one on here was kind of saggy. It's pretty stiff now, but it's still enough to let it rock back and forth. So that'll be good enough. And I played around with the tie rods here a little bit. I, these arms used to be facing in that, that way, so it wouldn't, the wheels wouldn't turn evenly because of the way this steering shaft is behind the front axle here, how they're at an angle, so one would turn more than the other side, so by angling them out, it kind of turns it more evenly, so that's going to help when I Put this front on, front on here, because it's like in the worst possible spot there that these are gonna scrape. So should give it just enough room now. So I took the engine off that uh, two-wheel drive bike too. That's a Predator six and a half horse. I made this filter for it. It's just a. I'm not sure what that's from, but. Nice and slim. And I took the tank off that wheelie horse tractor. It's just a, from a small Predator, uh, 79cc. So that'll fit in there nice and good. But I gotta still make a top bracket for the steering here. I'm probably gonna go from these to up here and then down back to this. So I'll build the back bracket for this tank off of that. Off of that. And I gotta move the off switch here back to here somewhere where it's accessible. And I reworked the exhaust here. Just gonna go straight down with it. Got a little hot dog muffler on there. And I got this torque converter that's new. So instead of going off of there where it's supposed to come out, I made a longer shaft for it. And it's going to come out right in the center there. Um, see the sprocket. And I cut a keyway in there for the, for the drive pulley in the sprocket. And I'm going to make a bracket off of here for strengthening it up. So I moved these, these foot pegs used to be back here. I moved them up there. And I'm not... I'm not going to use this seat, I'm going to make a little bit wider one. I still got to trim down this fender here. Um, it's not going to have a, any brakes. So, I don't think it'll need them with the torque converter and the tracks. They slow it down pretty good. So, this is what I got here so far. Rocket's gonna go in the middle there. So the reason I did it like this, this was single bar down the middle. I know it doesn't look as strong as possible, but it's strong enough. These is, this is pretty thick, and it's only spanning like a foot here, less than a foot. So I was thinking about adding, which I probably will, more bars here going forward. I'm coming into the frame there to because when the sprocket's 
when the engine's pulling on it, these are going to want to go back and forth. So rather than cause any problems, I'll probably just go ahead and do that. Um, so I made a bolt on here. So the reason I did it like this is because to make these tracks have the maximum possible articulation without leaving enough room for the seat there. So I wanted as much room as possible in there for the seat to keep the seat low. And yeah, this is just a aluminum street sign or something. I started making up for the fender. And haven't decided about this sissy bar yet. I put that on there. I got a little pad for it too. So we'll see how that goes. And I got a little trailer hitch here I want to put for towing stuff or whatever. Um, these tracks are just from a snow blower. In case you haven't seen my two wheel drive motorbike build. Um, they work, they work pretty good. They're getting kind of dried out and old here, cracked, so they're not going to last forever anyway, but they'll do for this. I actually had them set up wrong. The tensioner, there's a chain that goes from the middle to the back to one of the drive sides, and I had the drive side on the tension side side with the chain which tensions the track so that was wrong the chain side is supposed to be to the front where it's not adjustable and the adjustable side just adjusts the track the only reason it worked is because the chains that were in it were all rusty so they kind of kept, them, kept themselves tight but then I put new chains on it and it was all loot. It was it was too tight. I couldn't get the track tight enough on the tension side. So I fixed that all. So these are gonna be good now. And yep. So I'm not sure about the handlebars yet. Once I get the engine and steering set where I want it, I could put the fairing on and then I'll be able to See exactly where I need the handlebars. I'll probably go with uh, one of these, either these, or these, probably these, over top of it. I wanted to keep them lower, but there's no room for my knees or anything, and I would have had to cut out the sides of the fairing here. And I don't really want to do that because. Just gonna weaken it, make it have a spot to crack. So this is already really cracked up. I don't know if you can see all these. These were all cracks. I melted them back together. I got a big old soldering iron. I just melted it back together, and I'll put a fake headlight in there. So yeah, I built all this front end from scratch for for that other tractor like a Model T kind of style. I got a little pin hard rod in there. So that works good. And I had to shorten the axle. I gotta do both this side still. These wheels don't have a, any bearings in them so I gotta keep them greased up. I put a grease fitting on them. Um, I'm probably going to build tracks for it. I'm not sure if I'm going to replace the whole spindle with and come straight down with the track or just make them so they bolt on instead of wheels here. And these ones I got to gotta still set, them, set it all up with, the, with an axle. I got to drill holes for the sprockets inside and... Um, once that's all figured out, I'll, I gotta make some kind of limiting bumpers so it doesn't go too far. I think it'd probably be okay just rubbing on the bottom of the seat pan there. So we'll see. And yeah, I'm working on a new seat. I got a 
a little bit comes out as wide as this. So it's just going to be a little bit of fender sticking out. And I wasn't sure if I was going to come off of this to support the steering head, but it looks kind of weird like that. So I think uh, this will probably be strong enough just off of the engine there. This is all solid shaft. So it'll be nice and strong. Yep. And i probably leave the governor hooked up here. Not sure yet. Seemed to work okay on my other bike. Alright. Guess that's it for now. Um, figured I'd give you guys an update because I haven't made a video in a long time. Haven't really been building anything new. That's why. So. Alright. Thanks for watching. See you later.